Okay, hey, I'm Matt from Tech Gang. Um, today I'm just going to show you some basic animation, some frame by frame, um, between some preset um, animation that's already in the program. So just go from 100% to fit in window. Um, you can put this down and that down, we don't need them. Okay, now all I'm going to ask you to do is draw a square. Doesn't matter about the colours, the size, anything. And well, that's pretty much it for the frame by frame. So then go onto the timeline, insert a keyframe, click on this button, onion skin here, and just move that along a bit. Insert a keyframe again and move it along some more. And again, move it along some more. And then you sort of have a moving rectangle. Now if I just copy all those frames and paste them in again and then highlight them all and click reverse it's kind of like a going back and forward rectangle now that's frame by frame that's quite easy or I could just insert a keyframe there and a keyframe at 10 at the one at 5 I move it to there and now it does this but wait that's not right so you insert motion tweens in there and then I copy that paste it and reverse it see okay so that was a tween that motion tween and that's probably the easiest kind of tween um, I'm just going to show you how to turn this square now into a circle. So you need to have this properties open and at about frame 20 insert a keyframe, delete that off it and insert just a circle. Now in here select all of that and down here where it says tween go to shape. Now if I go like that it will slowly transform your square into a circle um, this can be anything into anything so square into that kind of shape whatever that kind of shape is it's not always handy because it doesn't always tween it the way you want it to in that case you have to go to frame by frame um, other types of animation you've got these custom built in ones so I can right click on that and timeline effects and then effects explode and it would do that on the stage so update the preview for that now if I run through that it explodes on the stage I don't I don't particularly like the preset ones because I like to have my own customized part in it. I don't like it to be all someone else doing it. Just transform so I can transform it. Um rotate it sixty degrees, change the colour to red, uh final alpha. 28 update the preview and just rotates it into red and a bit more see through kind of pointless wouldn't really use it in a real flash um, that's about it for frame by frame but I could show you some sprites yeah I'll go to sprites why not let me just I just type into Google sprite sheets, go into images. God, there's hundreds. Um, choose a reasonably small one. Make sure it's not got a fancy background with hundreds and thousands of things in like that. Um, here we go. So 
so even if it's got somebody else right clicking in it just either copy and paste it or save it and paste it so I'm going to paste it in and I'm going to click on the image go modify bitmap trace bitmap and 3x3 three three pixels few corners I find works the best and then I'm just going to take out everything I'm not going to use and then this is the complicated bit this is where I zoom in to it a bit more and control X so I take those out insert a keyframe the blank keyframe with onion skin on I just put the next little Mario man in there and then control X insert a keyframe and yeah it does kind of a walk cycle in the end but there's no easy way of doing this it is literally just cut and paste it's sprite animation see how it does that little walk cycle through you should do a little Mario walk cycle there yeah and that's easy really easy this part animation There's not much really to it but um, comment on any other kind of animation tips that you need um, my email is guardian zx4 just normal guardian then zx4 at hotmail.co.uk um yeah so I'll see you in another video.